Jonathan Kaminga packed his bags and moved to America when he was only 13 years old, but the incredible risk he took next changed his life forever. Number 7. Jonathan Kaminga's Early Life How did a kid from the Democratic Republic of Congo end up setting records in the NBA when he never even dreamed of playing in the league? I started playing basketball at a very young age, and if I'm being real, my dreams and my goals were never to play in the NBA. Now that might sound odd as most players dream about playing in the NBA from the get-go, but when you look deeper into how he grew up, you quickly realize how differently Kaminga did grow up. He was born and raised in Goma, Congo until he was 13. Growing up, he saw rebels and government troops fighting in the streets of his town. The United Nations World Food Program estimates that 90% of the people living in Congo are food unstable on some level. Kaminga recalls far too vividly going hungry and not knowing where his next meal might come from. First of all, there is no money, there is no food, Kaminga said about his life back home. When I started playing, we used to walk far away to find a court. There aren't gyms all over like you see here. Here you walk down two blocks and you find a gym, a park. You gotta walk like 45 minutes to get to wherever you gotta go to play back home. And then after that, you gotta make sure you get back home on time because there's so much stuff out there. You might even find some people that are just going to see you on the road and stab you, try to kill you. It's kind of dangerous. In that dangerous environment, Kaminga found solace in the game of basketball. However, the game would demand a lot from Kaminga, including picking between his passion and his family. Number 6. Basketball Obsession When Kaminga was only 13 years old, he faced a tricky question. His family or his dream? The dream of playing ball was prevalent in his household. He was born into a basketball family. His parents played. His cousin, Emmanuel Moutier, played for the Utah Jazz. His other cousin, Omari Gudul, played professionally in Romania. And his older brother played at Texas Tech. At the age of 13, Kaminga began to realize that his passion for basketball and his physical tools were outgrowing his home. He learned to play on an outdoor cement court, where the basket was a literal laundry basket nailed to a pole. Naturally, he needed to find a better environment if he wanted to take his game to the next level, but this also meant that he was faced with a tough decision. Following his passion meant that he would have to leave his family behind. The last day I heard I was going to come over, I made that decision. I was like, I gotta man up, I gotta grow up. I'm going to see them one day, so I just gotta come over and continue to reach my goal. In 2016, he moved to the U.S. to play high school basketball. Kaminga arrived in West Virginia and began playing for Huntington Prep as a high school freshman. He quickly became a five-star recruit. As a sophomore, he averaged 25, 5, and 5 and was the Max Prep's National Sophomore of the Year. At the end of his high school career, he was a consensus five-star recruit and the best small forward in the 2020 class. However, once again, Kaminga had to make a tough decision. Go down the traditional route and play college ball, or carve his own path and become a trendsetter. Number 5. Journey to the NBA Not many people have the self-belief to bet on themselves, ultimately. This is why what Kaminga did next was remarkable. Typically, when you ball out in high school, colleges line up in front of you with offers. Kaminga had his fair share of opportunities as well. Elite programs like Texas Tech, Auburn, Duke, and Kentucky tried to recruit Kaminga. However, Kaminga went down his own unique path. He reclassified to the 2020 class and announced that he would bypass college basketball and join the NBA G League Ignite team. Kaminga would become one of their first major recruits to go down the NBA G League path rather than the traditional college route. His self-confidence paid off as he averaged 15.8 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 2.7 assists per game in the G League. However, this entire time, Kuminga had the opportunity to mold his own destiny, but when he declared for the NBA, he would have to hand over control to his new coach, and in doing so, risk losing everything he had worked so hard for. 
Number four, NBA career. Would you be able to stick to the grind while you watched your peers pass you by? Unfortunately for Kaminga, he had to experience this type of frustration with his NBA team. The Golden State Warriors drafted Kaminga as the seventh pick in the 2021 NBA draft. However, despite reaching tremendous heights with the organizations, Kaminga also had lows that were bad enough that he requested a trade. The highs came right away for Kaminga. He made the Rising Stars Challenge game and would end his rookie campaign by winning the NBA championship. After winning the title, he had plans to take the trophy back home to Congo, but could not do so because of political complications. Instead, he went alone and was welcomed like a hero. Naturally, Kaminga assumed that in his sophomore year he would get a larger role because of the many Warriors players were aging, and it looked as if the organization was headed toward a rebuild. Despite that, the coach Steve Kerr leaned on his vets more so than his rookies. This frustrated Kaminga to no end as he saw his peers rise above him and win individual accolades as he rode the bench and barely got any playing minutes. This trend continued in his third year, and Kaminga finally reached a breaking point. He requested a trade from the Warriors organization because he felt as if he would never reach his potential with them. That trade request seemed to have done the trick as his minutes rose and his usage increased. Kaminga lived up to his end of the deal as well. As he got more opportunities, he quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with and even set a few records. On January 24th, 2024, Kaminga scored 25 points on a perfect 11 for 11 from the field in a victory against the Atlanta Hawks. This performance tied Chris Mullen's Warriors franchise record for the most made shots in a game without a miss. His elite play also made him and Steph Curry one of the highest scoring duos in the game. Perhaps the coach wasn't playing him more minutes because the organization didn't want to pay Kaminga what he was worth. After all, he was about to make some generational wealth. Number 3. NBA Contract Kaminga isn't your typical young star. He had been making plenty of money before playing in the NBA. With the G League Ignite team, Kaminga earned $500,000. Of course, his next paycheck would clear that amount by a wide margin. When he was drafted to the league, Kaminga signed a four-year, $24.8 million deal. This meant that annually he made anywhere between $5 to $7 million. This deal will be coming to an end shortly, and Kaminga will look to sign a massive $100 million deal or more. So maybe that's why the Warriors were trying to bury him and not play him too many minutes, because they knew what kind of talent they had and wanted to keep him for a cheaper price tag. But the cat is out of the bag. Kaminga is an absolute baller and will earn generational wealth with his next deal. Good thing Kaminga will be making millions for years to come because the way he spends it, he will need every last penny. Number 2. Off the Court Many players live a flashy lifestyle, but only a few compared to the way that Kaminga does things. If you follow Kaminga on his Instagram, you'll see that when he has his time off, he's immediately on a private jet going to some other country. His favorite country to visit is South Africa, but he's also been to Milan and Spain. Greece is up next on his bucket list, but one place you won't catch Kaminga going anytime soon, unless it's for work, is in Milwaukee. It is simply too cold for him. Other than traveling, his social media feed is also full of fashion show type pictures. He makes full use of the runway pre-games, showing off his new fits, which tend to be Dolce & Gabbana, Hugo Boss, LV, and other expensive brands. And speaking of expensive, Kaminga also rolls around in style. His current daily driver is a blue Lambo, so perhaps with his next big deal, he'll be adding to his supercar collection. Kaminga can't afford all of these luxuries nowadays thanks to his NBA deal and also several unique endorsement deals. Number 1. His Net Worth As we mentioned earlier, Kaminga has earned over $24 million through the NBA and an additional $500,000 with the G League Ignite team. However, a large chunk of these earnings end up going to taxes, so his lavish lifestyle might be difficult to maintain if it wasn't for his endorsements. Kaminga is endorsed by brands like Nike, NBA 2K, Boss, and Insure. 
These brands, along with his NBA earnings, bring his overall net worth to about $12 million. Not bad for a kid who never even dreamt of playing in the NBA.